Here we have the same two uh, equations as the last problem, but here we want to just explicitly solve algebraically from the beginning. So we still have y equals negative x plus 4. And then we had 2y minus 4x equals 2. So why don't we just solve this for y right away again? So we'll have 2y, we move the 4x to the other side, so we have plus 4x equals 4x plus 2. Now we need to have just y by itself, so we'll divide both sides by 2. So 2 divided by 2 is just y, 4 divided by 2 is 2x, plus 2 divided by 2 is 1. So now we have these two equations. We can say they're not equal, but we want to solve for what values of x and y, what point uh, is uh, common between these two. So now that we have these set uh, as y equals something, we can just set them equal to each other and solve directly for x. So we'll take these two equations and just take the right-hand sides together. Minus x plus 4 equals 2x plus 1. Now we're going to solve for x directly. So I'll move the 2x over here, subtract 2x from both sides. And then I'll move the numbers over here, subtract 4 from both sides. And we have negative 3x equals uh, 1 minus 4 is negative 3. Divide both sides by negative 3 gives us x equals 1. So we're halfway home, we have the x value of 1. Now we can pick either one of these equations, doesn't matter which one, and we'll find if we plug in and evaluate at x equals 1, what the value of y is. Let's take this one. If we plug in and evaluate at x equals 1, we have y equals negative 1 plus 4, and we, that gives us y equals 4 minus 1 is just 3. So those are our two values. If we plugged it in here, we'd get the same thing as well. 2 times 1 is 1, plus 1 is 3. So this is our final answer. We can write it in the ordered form 1, comma, 3, or x, comma, y. So here's your final answer here, 1, 3.